Hi everyone, I was asked today how to mask Grand Portal access to users. Let's discover that. In this example, I wanted to show you a little trick that sometimes we get asked as well, which is the following. When you select a few users here, or let's say not users, partners, and you want to create users out of them, you have the possibility to grant portal access. Doing so, if you don't have a user yet, Odoo is supposedly going to propose you to create users based on the record information that you have here. So usually we use that to create portal users uh, out of some contacts. Here you see this one already exists, and the other ones, uh, you don't have an email address so it's not going to propose a uh, button to create them because um, an email address is really needed to accomplish this. Um, but if you have, let's imagine, lots of users with email addresses, uh, or lots of contacts, I should say, not users with email addresses, and you want to create contacts of, out of them, um, in that case, maybe what you don't want to do is uh, click every time manually on grant access. Maybe you have 10,000 of records so which you need to create quickly portal access to the users. You really don't want to click uh, that amount of time in that window. So uh, we prepared a little action that we have here that is going to allow you to mask grant portal access. And this one, maybe the first thing that is very complicated is usually to get to the model that we need to create in order to do that. Uh, here's a bit of help to find, usually when you have a wizard, the right object that is behind. It doesn't mean that you can every time use those wizards um, in the server actions, but this is an example where, where it works. You can click here and you see that there you have the model portal.wizard. That is the model that you have for the big window here, but what we want to create in the end are the contacts that we have here. And those contacts, if I move the cursor just uh, on this label, you see that the model uh, notion, which is the third line here, is portal.wizard.user. It is an object that exists in Odoo. It's a transient uh, object, so it's going to exist just for the time for you to create something else, and then it will disappear from the database. That object will disappear, but not the portal user that you are going to create just after. In order to do that, so if I go back to my server action, uh, I'm going to um, initiate what I want to create in terms of model, and then for every partner that I have in the records that I have selected in the list, I'm going to check first if they have an email, and if they don't have, uh, have an email, I will uh, trigger an error. But if they do have an email, I'm going to create those new lines. So what I'm doing here, just over there, this, is that I'm creating those lines that we have right here, and I will be just at the end, uh, um, granting the access to the wizard user. And that option uh, option method that you can find here, you will see that it's exactly the same as what you get when you click on grant access here. It's the same method name. So doing this will allow you to uh, create uh, in mass just those ones. Uh, but if uh, I, you see, I don't have an email for the first one. So uh, if I go there, I first need to add, by the way, uh, my action. Usually, in order to add an action, I can go there and click on Create Contextual Action. That will, in turn, create a new action over here. Let's refresh my screen. And let's select the same set of people. Uh, go here, and now you see Mass Grand Portal Access. Just because of this one, the first one, I have uh, an issue with the email. Of course, it would be best that even I select all the ones that have an email. If I have a list of 10,000 of items, the best would be, of course, to make a filter before I select them. Now that I have Facebook, ING, and Microsoft, I can go there and click on Mask Grand Portal Access. And that is done. You don't see a confirmation message, but that is OK. Now if I go to my settings and I want to have a look at my users, if I remove that filter, now I see that I have my users that have been generated as portal users. Exactly what I wanted. That's it.